every build we ever done is important to me. But some builds, they just take me back. Hey, what's happening? Hey, how you doing? Scott. Good. Bill? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This thing's cool. It's definitely unique. 1965 Ford Falcon. My dad used to have one similar to that, man. I learned how to drive down this road. And I was sitting up in his lap, and I remember steering this thing and not going anywhere. Yeah, right. That's about what it is now. The Falcon was Ford's answer to the VW bus in the 1960s. Unlike the VW, the engine isn't in the back. It's right in between the driver and the passenger seat. I brought it here to let you work your magic. Ooh. I got two little ones and try to take like three weeks vacation on the road a year driving around, get out and see the country. That's really cool. So you need something comfortable, reliable, and safe. And cool. And cool. Getting my daughter and son excited about custom cars and maybe have them riding around in something custom someday. It's a cool thought. Let's check this thing out. All right. Man, this thing's really nice in here, but just not for put your family in and go across the country on it. My wife will not drive cross country in this car with me. <laughs> what kind of engines in this Where'd thing? Would you see this? <laughs> <laughs> it's original, top speed, 55. <laughs> That's definitely not gonna cut it. <laughs> we might as well give it some power for dad on the weekends. That'd be nice, yeah. that'd be nice. An engine change out is an absolute necessity. It has to be something that you know I can actually keep up with traffic these days. The factory engine on a 1965 Ford Falcon only had 85 horsepower. On the plus side, it was fairly compact. So we picked a small engine, but it has a lot more horsepower. Ooh. That thing's cool. A little four-cylinder, huh? Four-cylinder, 2.3-liter twin scroll turbo, 300-plus horsepower. Man, that is bad. They're putting these things in the Mustangs. Ford F-150s, guys at the track are killing it with them. This is the perfect combination for this little project. It is. All right, watch your ankles. This thing's light enough where we can just manhandle it up in there from the bottom. Scoot it this way a little bit. Which way? Forward. I think you might have to get the lube out, buddy. <laughs> it's closer, <laughs> right? Yeah. How's it looking back there? That's all uh, I got. I'm touching the floor back here. OK, forward. There you go, right there. Good. Fits in there good. Got to make the doghouse a little wider. I don't know if we need to make it taller or anything. But let's get the rack on this thing to make sure all this is going to work. Yeah. And then the, the fun part, the steering. Mm -hmm. That's looking real good. Got the radiator in, rack mounted. Looking all right. You see what I'm looking at, though? Yeah, right? you know the next thing yeah. is coming. It's a fun Been part. dreading it. <laughs> Usually when you're sitting in the car, you got the column out here. The wheels are way out here. It's yeah. super easy to connect the rack to the steering. Yeah. But on this, we're going to have to connect the column all the way back here yeah. to the rack. It might not seem that hard, but out of all the ones that I've done over the years, I've never had to deal with this. So. Yeah. Anytime you see it when it's done, you go, oh, that's easy. Yeah, exactly. And, but it's figuring it out and getting it to that point. Exactly. Always like a challenge. Yeah, of course. Well, let's drop it down. All right. What we're doing right now is just putting the column in its place. Everything needs to be mocked up. You know where everything's at before you can start anything. This is just where the factory alignment was. We put it back in the original spot. So next thing is to lift this thing up and start making the snake. Scott's a really busy guy running his construction company up in Chicago. So we're going to ship this van straight up to him. Since this is a family van, I thought I'd ask my kids just to get their take on it, see if it's cool. You guys ready to go home? Yeah. Yeah? Been working hard today? Yeah. Hey, before we go, I want you to check out something. We just built a van for a customer in Chicago. We got to ship this thing back. But before we do, I want your guys' opinion on this, see how good we did. OK, let's go check it out. Can you see it? Yeah, let's go, let's see go it. do it. Come on. Come on. So I want your guys' honest opinion, OK? OK. Not just because I'm your dad. I want you to really tell me what you think, OK? okay. Yes, sir. 
We've seen a lot of like what our dad does around here. He just never really asks for our opinion. This must be like a pretty special one. John's bringing this thing out right now. It's gonna be here any second. You know, the moment of truth, I hope they like this. Whoa. Yeah. That's, really cool. That's so cool. Oh. That's yeah. so cool. What's up, man? Yeah. Like it? Yeah. Oh. That's really cool. The green makes it so good. You know, when this van came in, it was in decent shape, but it wasn't in this good of shape. We had to rip out all the old suspension, and we put brand new air suspension on this thing. With rack and pinion steering, it drives like a modern car should. And the way it sits, like, really, really, really low to the ground, so cool. Right? Yeah. yeah. It gives a little new little attitude. You know, we spent a lot of time on the suspension and steering on this van, but, you know, the kids would never know that. That's all they want to see is just this thing go down the ground and get really low. And the old engine just wasn't cutting it either, so we got a brand new four-cylinder turbocharged in this thing. That's cool. That's why you hear that nice little blow-off valve when it comes up and goes and it's got plenty, plenty power. Ooh. Of course, we had to have upgraded brakes, big wheels, freshened up all the paint, and all new chrome. And uh, I really, really like the color. I think that it makes the van it's pretty cool. unique. His kids picked that color out. They got good taste. Yeah. You know, I spent a lot of time on this interior, thinking about my kids, his kids, me personally. I love it, but I can't wait to see what you guys think about it. You want to check it out? Yeah. Check this out. Oh. <laughs> that is very I good. like the lights. The stars make that so, so, so nice. John's got a lot of time in this thing. I Spent at least a week poking holes and running lights. By the end of it, I was done with it. Right. It looks worth it. It was well worth yeah. it. I'm very happy with it. That being in this van made it 10 times cooler. Uh, stuff we don't see every day in a van. Will you guys get in there and check it out? Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. They're really comfortable. Right? It's very yeah. Fun. I love how many windows there are. The lights look better up close, too. You know, you guys are so busy looking up there, you didn't even notice there's no TVs and no screens anywhere in here, right? The whole point of this is family time. Yeah. And yeah. just being focused on family and the trip and spending time together Tell and not on your phones or, you know, watching a video. I think these guys' kids are definitely going to enjoy have lots of fun adventures and trips in this van. I'm already jealous that they get to take a ride in that. This is my favorite car that you have built. Really? Yeah. Cool. I guess we did yeah. pretty good, John. That's why cool. you got to make us one, too. John did most of the work. <laughs>